Ladies and welcome to a very exciting video because I am finally doing an update on the ants. Now it's been a while since I did an update on the black garden ants, so Liz, my queen and her colony, but we'll get to that in a moment because today we have a new colony. So antshq.co.uk reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their standard nursery tube starter kit and with this you can choose whichever colony you want with it and I went with one of my favourites, what I missed deeply, the Mesa Barbarus. I think I pronounced that right. Um, the Harvester Ant. Now you may remember I had Olive. Her, you know, she, if you remember watching that video, I'll link it if you haven't seen it. She basically like came out of the nest and all her workers were on her and attacking her. And I always blamed myself, even though I didn't, you know, touch the colony. Um, and actually her workers went on to live for like over a year or something afterwards. They just kept living. Um, what I have since found out is sometimes with queens, if they've been brood boosted, the workers can turn on them, but also if they have a disease or if genetically they're not quite correct, they can release a pheromone which pretty much activates the workers to get them out of the colony. So that may have happened with Olive, but I really, really enjoyed having that type of ant, and so I wanted to try again. So let's see what's inside. Lots of packaging, very nice. We have stickers, why am I always excited by stickers? Right, let's do this carefully. So I've just taken them out of the bubble wrap and undone this. Wow. Okay, so we have instructions and this tells us what everything it comes with and how to set it up so i'll look into that a little bit wow we have a lot of stuff going on here okay okay so there's a lot you know everyone's been sending like hampers during lockdown i feel like this is an ant hamper so i think this is the main nursery tube and there's a little chimney here to put water in i believe and we have this to add the water in I believe this is the oil, so it creates a barrier, so it's um, difficult for them to escape. This is the queen herself, and I kind of want to move her a moment so there's no more vibration. Then we have a tube of seeds, because she is a harvester ant, and they do like to collect seeds. Then this looks like a bit of dirt. I'm sure I need to read the instructions for this. And I think we need to build this, so let's get to it. Okay, it's been a little while, but this is finally done. Um, so this is obviously the barrier that means she doesn't see the light. So she thinks she is private, but we can still spy on her and this is her outworld. However, we need to move her into this. So I'm probably going to disconnect this so we can connect her current tube so she can move in on her own. First though, I'm going to add in this. So this is gonna provide a little barrier so they can't uh, walk too close to the lid uh, because we don't want that. Now before we move it in, this is a queen. She's a bicolour uh, Mesa Barbarus, so she has a red head and a slightly red abdomen. I can't actually see any of her brood in here. Uh, she may have moved them, hidden them in the cotton, she may have eaten them due to stress, but um, you know, it is what it is. I don't want to, you know, mess around too much with her. But she is looking very healthy, curious, very big as well. And now we need to fill up this chimney area. Oh. <laughs> do it slowly, don't do what I just did. It's gonna take a while to soak down. So we left the queen to rest for a bit. She's actually carrying her brood around with her. But now, I have to figure out how I'm going to attach this test tube to the new one so we can allow her to move in on her own. Right, I've had to tape these two tubes together but she's already moving. So she's currently just in the, oh, 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 she's coming back. Now this can take a while and that's absolutely fine. I'd rather she just moves on her own. But hopefully she finds that this little nursery test tube is probably better than this one. Whilst we wait for her to move, um, I thought I'd give you an update on Liz, but that reminds me actually, she does need a name. So if you have a name suggestion for our new queen ant, let me know below. The last one was called Olive because it's Mediterranean inspired. 
um, because they're usually found more that sort of part of the world so if you have something similar let me know in the comments below but as you can see here Liz's colony is thriving there are so many workers so much brood she's in there amongst them somewhere I'm constantly seeing them like you know a few individuals in the out world and they're doing so well that I thought they needed to be expanded so there's this tubing and it goes to here and it's covered up at the moment but there's like a white on nest in here um, we do see individuals in here, but I think they're still figuring out whether it's suitable for the queen to move. I think I need to hydrate it even more, but overall Liz is doing really, really well. So it's the next day and the queen is all the way down here. So she's well and truly settled in. So I'm going to try to attach the outworld and remove this. So overall, this has come together nicely. I had to get a bit of help to attach that. It was a little bit stiff, but it got there in the end. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of room in this t uh, test tube and I kind of, I like the design, it's different, it's not just your old test tube and it should hold the humidity well for her. Um, oh, there she is. So I think, you know, this will last a while and hopefully, unlike a normal plain test tube, you shouldn't get like, you know when the cotton goes a bit mouldy and stuff and you have to change them but she's just carrying some of her brood now so she seems pretty happy i'm really happy with this i really love the little chimney system um so once again if you want to get something like this yourself or just a colony or just this kit um antshq.co.uk and thank you to them for sending me her i absolutely loved having harvester ants before it's a little bit humid in there as you can see but yeah, oh, oh, is she coming out to the out world to see what's going on? I can see her little face. She's definitely sort of curious. But yeah, this will be awesome to see them grow. I usually do little updates on Instagram now and again because I know, you know, my channel is mainly focused around geckos, but I do have other pets. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. But thank you and goodbye.